Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help resolve the Java error code 1603 error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And we're going to navigate over to google.com. And once you have Google loaded here, we're going to be searching for Java. So just type in Java and then search that up. One of the best matches should just come back with Java Oracle. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Domain should be java.com. So you want to make sure you're getting directly from the source. Should be a Java download button somewhere on this page. We're going to go ahead and select that. Select Agree and Start Free Download. Download should be pretty quick. Once it's done, just going to go ahead and open it up. You can uh, minimize or close out of the web browser too. So you're going to get user account control prompt. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select Yes. Now I should say welcome to Java. We're going to go ahead and check mark where it says change destination folder right down here. So let's install. Select the change button. So you can save it anywhere on your computer. I'm personally going to expand the desktop folder here. I'm going to actually right click on desktop, select new, and I'm going to select folder. You can create it somewhere else. I'm just going to call it Java. If you want to put it in the C drive, I mean that's fine. I'm just going to make it so everybody can clearly see where it is on this computer. But again, you don't really want to delete it if it's on the desktop once you're done this tutorial. So you probably don't want to save it to desktop. I'm just doing it so you guys can visualize it here. You're, you can expand your local disk here as well and then go underneath program files or something like that. But I'm just going to save it underneath Java for this tutorial. And then I'm going to select OK. You see it's being saved to my desktop. I'm going to select Next again. Again, in terms of like longevity, I probably would not recommend saving it to the desktop. But I just want you guys to see what's going on here and I feel like that's the easiest uh, way to go about it. Okay, once it's done, it should say you have successfully installed Java. Select Close. Now I want you guys to open up the Start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the Start button one time. Type in Control Panel. Best match should come back with Control Panel here, so just give it a minute to load. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Set your View By to Large or Small Icons. And then go down to System and go left click on that. On the left side, go ahead and left click on Advanced System Settings. Left click on where it says Environment Variables. Select New. Now for variable name, just call it Java. Just make it something pretty simple here. 
And now for variable value, you want to go select, so click inside this field here, and then select browse file. I'm going to just navigate over to where I saved my Java folder, which is on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. That's what I meant just by keeping it simple, but you can save it somewhere else. And once you've done that, now you want to expand the bin folder, so double click on bin. And now you want to look for something in here that says java.exe, so just scroll down a little bit. Looks like it went a little too far, so it should say Java, or it should just say Java, the file extension should be exe, but So yes, just Java, that's what we want here, so just go ahead and left click on that. Select Open. And then select OK. Now that you're done with that, go ahead and select OK again. Close out of there. Select OK once more. You can close out of here, and that should honestly be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.